What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idol Heroes, and today we're into the play. The what? The free to play account. Oh my god, I got baby brain on my head. Take care of Lily all day, it will fry your brain. But we are here, we're playing this account. We got some stuff to do. Uh, we got Purgatory open. Honestly, I don't expect us to get very far. We'll give it a shot, though. We might actually keep him in the more offensive mode just to see how many levels we can actually beat. Uh, one thing, I don't know if I talked about it last time. I managed to smash through that wave that we're having difficulties with. So we will give that a try today as well. Uh, one thing I actually have to make sure I do is our Starland Arena. One thing also is giving those thumbs ups for those free gems. If you missed the video earlier today, here's a little cheat code. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to refresh. I want to fight. <laughs> um yeah that's something very important so there's a lot of strong heroes here good lord i don't know if we can win this but we'll give it a shot i wish there was a way to just skip individual battles too i know i probably say that every time we do this game mode but all right we gotta win here this is gonna be the w penny is stronger though and we're gonna die yep rip rip so some of these matchups are gonna be very very difficult for us other ones I feel like are winnable, but we are going to have to manipulate who is where. So, like, in this situation, I feel like what we need to do is we need to front load our power. Something more like that. Ugh. It's really awkward changing your team lineups around. That is one thing I really don't like about this game mode, but we can get the two guaranteed wins, essentially. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like old school Trial of Champion, just a little bit more difficult of manipulating what team is facing what lineup. But like, I'm pretty sure we can get a W here. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, good. We got the W. That's all we care about. Just need to win three out of the five battles to get more points because, of course, we want to keep ranking up higher and higher. So, yeah, we're going to do that again. So, we're going to change this around. We're going to drop you two out. We're going to add in some weaker heroes. I don't know where I put the other heroes. I don't even know what I did. I guess I'll just throw you in here. Or better yet, we can put you back down here and put you in. Oh god, I hate I hate this system. It's so awkward. It's like you gotta click where you wanna go. And I'm hoping I set that up right. Like again, trying to remember where the enemy heroes are. <laughs> Not the easiest in the world, but if you can manipulate your team to get some guaranteed wins, that is the most important part. Uh I think we'll be okay here. I think. I hope. Yeah, I'd actually watch this one to see, but I'm definitely not going to use any gems to purchase extra attempts. We're just going to get whatever free resources we can from this game mode and help progress our account. So not too bad. We, this is the one I'm I'm wondering if we can beat. Because it's really just that Sherlock, but I think we outheal the Sherlock. Eesh. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No, we need counterattacks. Oh, we got the win. <laughs> that was huge. Oh, that was so big. Uh-oh. Okay, so he can get past her shields, no problem, it seems like, with his multi-layer active. There we go. Cool. I, I love I love Mockman. He's like he's so different, but he's so cool. Yeah, we got the victory. And we have new lineup. So yeah, this is pretty much what we have to do. We just have to swap our heroes around and hope to get the good matchups that we can win and keep accumulating points to move up the ranks. So yee, this one's difficult. I think we're going to skip that battle. Shouldn't be able to win this one, but we are going to do one change here. Wait. So here's the change I'm going to do. Guys, so disorienting. Uh, I'm going to put you up here and I think you down there. 
Something like that? I feel like that's the win. Hopefully. Maybe? I think I put my Malkman in the wrong lineup. I think I meant to put my Eloise there. I wanted to dodge there, Eloise. That was correct. Oh, God. It's just the amount of clicking back and forth to make sure. Uh, I think should be fine against... Oh, no. It's Drake. <gasps> the defense down. So all we're going to have damage-wise is our active ability then. Uh-oh. Yeah, and he dodges. We lose. Yep, I put my hero in the wrong spot. We're skipping that battle. Uh, we can fight this one. This one's pretty easy. What are these heroes? <laughs> what are these heroes? My goodness. All right. Let's go back. Put you down here. Put you back here. It should be fine. I'm hoping it's fine. Okay. If I had a few more good heroes to use that were awakened, I feel like we'd be in a better spot. But I really want to save our soul awakenings. <laughs> the Fat Moo skin is still to this day one of the coolest looking skins in the game. Why are so many old skins like some of the best? Knock them out easy. That was one I was worried about. And then, yeah, easy fight. So, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... Yeah, we're not going to try to fight that. So we're going to do our one free refresh and keep going, trying to find weaker opponents. So what we're going to do here. Yeah, that looks fine. We're just going to put you up here and you down there. And that is another easy victory for Barry Gaming. We'll take it. Getting those points is very, very, very important, guys. Uh, I think we might just go one, two, three here. Yeah, I think that's the plan. So I think, wait, was it this one? Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we can go somewhere along the lines of putting Saya in the first one and then putting you in the third one and then just calling it a day, right? We're not even going to bother switching other stuff around. Like, we should just get victories from the heroes themselves. One more battle. Okay, I want to fight wave two, three, and four. No, and five. Wait. <laughs> Maybe skip two. We'll go back to three, four, and five looks good. Okay, so let's get rid of you guys again. Oh, God, I forget. Who do I want on three? Eloise? No, no. Yeah, we'll do Eloise. We'll do Eloise on three. We'll do that. We'll go back literally to our normal setup that we had. Eloise here. And then we'll put Saya down here. And then we just got to put heroes back up the top. Ah! So funky how this works. It's so annoying using it on computer sometimes. And this should get us the victory. Like, we, this is, there's no point watching, right? Skip. Skip. No, I can't even click it fast enough skip okay we got the w so that puts us up to 560 points we're into the second bracket now that is awesome that's gonna be more rewards i'm good with that okay next thing i want to try we're still gonna have i don't think any way shape or form to beat this wave even with our artifact because like even if we super high roll and we get energy here we just have no way to finish them. I think, yeah, you need to use Attribute Reduction Purify. We, we're really just going to need a second Transcendence Hero. Simple as that. Uh, because we're going to do this... Actually, honestly, I might stick with Speed for Purgatory. We're about two days away here. Every day we get an additional point, so we'll get a level cap increase very soon. We're going to throw him in with a Melodic this time. I just don't think we're going to get any victories, honestly. If we do, cool. If we don't, that's eh, just to be expected. We do want those Wishing Coins, though. So if we can find Wishing Coins, that would be amazing. There's some Wishing Coins. Come on, a few more. I'd love to get more pay-to-win artifacts, although it does seem like they're throwing them out left, right, and center lately, which is really cool. Um, we can see if he can beat a ticks. I don't know. Oh god, the ticks goes first. That's not great. He's stealing a lot of my uh my attack power here. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, it was so close. So literally even here we're going to have to do that. That's baloney. Whatever. All right. Anyway, back to the main event here. We're going attack, 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 all out attack. Let's see if we can make any progression against this warrior wave now because we made progression on that like priest wave. They don't revive. The stun is pretty annoying because they go first. So I think it's almost a must now that we have to run control immunity over here. Probably crit damage. So we'll run control immunity because the fact that they go first. Actually, you know what? The fact that they go first means that, yeah, just going attack nodes is the better way here. Maybe we get some progression. We just need a high roll, not getting stunned. Oh, God, he's already stunned. Big damage, come on. Oh, God, that's not big enough. I mean, control immunity does seem to be working pretty solid. Less damage, but, I mean, getting to attack is more important than anything else. There we go. So, yeah, a simple change of which imprint we had made the victory possible. I'm thinking we probably need to keep it here, too. Because there's two different sources. There's both sealing and stunning now. Oh, all four back up. This is bad. Okay, we didn't get CC. That's not bad. But now we have like no HP. Okay, we can definitely clear this wave. I think the hardest wave for us was going to be the four like mage wave or priest wave or whatever they are. Big active. Clear them out. Uh-oh, yep. Not going to have enough healing now. Eesh, 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 eesh. <sighs> the other thing we can consider is running like a speed stone. And seeing if that gives us enough speed, but I don't think it's going to. It could be worthwhile investing in, though. So right now we have attack, attack. We're going to unlock a third stone here go back to the first one let's see if we can do some conversion speed hp no i think we need speed attack there we go game you are awesome speed attack and let's see what happens if we go like all out speed that brings us to 2029 that's not bad we still oh wait tenant <gasps> hold on hold on we were we were doing something here and i remember now we were gonna make a mickey Oh, this is actually really big. I totally forgot we were doing this, guys. Uh, Mickey, where are you, Mickey? Mickey, one, two, one, two. We got the two six stars. Yep, and now we need food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Sure. Sure, we didn't even have to touch any of the Shias or anything, but that means we can make our Onkiri Maro, I believe, two ten star now. Right? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Awaken. Yes, we got a 10 star. Uh, gonna have to slap some gear on you and probably something more offensive. Probably gonna want to upgrade a stone as well. At least decent amount. Or I mean, we're gonna use on Kirimar eventually, but what this does is now that he's a 10 star, we can make him a, uh, a tenant. Which means more power to our hero. That could be really huge. It also means more speed because we're going to be leveling up the hut that he's in. Which is very important as well. Let's try to get like just an attack attack stone of some sort super high up. And we'll eventually have to get like residence gear for all of our tenants as well. But for right now I feel like it's fine. Maybe what we should actually do is level up that demon bell we have. On, give me attack attack right out the gate attack attack oh that's horrible <laughs> that's horrible convert convert give me something attack 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 precision i'll take it for the time being um gear wise what do we got for gear i think that's about it for now yeah yeah so let's swap this over to actually the demon bell and let's get the demon bell leveled up. So let's just feed two of those bad boys off right away. And now we got plenty of dust. This will give him HP and it'll give him attack bonuses, which I'm cool with there. All right, there we go. So I think Ankirimaro is good for now. 
Got to level him up to give him more stats on top of that. And now, ooh, I could awaken him too for more bonus stats. But that now means right here. No, not that one. Right here? Yeah, right here. We can get you in here, and now we can start leveling this spot up too, which you guys can see. Pretty significant stats. We're giving 22% of his stats, 500,000, 21,000, 18 speed is part of the really good part of this. Um, you know, wait, if I just upgrade this, is he getting speed from it even without a tenant in there? Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna have to get Mockman, or I mean, rather, uh, uh, Forcey's built up soon. Okay, I mean that should give him decent amount of speed, forty-seven. I actually don't think we get that other speed until someone's in that plot. But I did forget about powering up, and this might help out. Doesn't he is faster now, isn't he? Ooh, so we don't need that control precision anymore, or control immunity, I don't think. Which means we can go back to higher damage potential. Ooh, speed, I love you speed. So let's go back, nope, not here, here. Let's bring you back to crit damage so that we hit really, really hard. I still want a skin. I'm still trying to, trying to get DH game, just give me one free thing. <laughs> I just want one free thing. Just give me a free skin. I want it on this hero so badly. Wow, that was a huge hit right there. Oh no, there were two CCs on him, so he didn't purify. Oof. Hit the back row, didn't get the kill, which just means he's going to waste some of the attack, but I think that was enough of a heal to keep us going. Ooh, it's stunned, but again, if we're faster, that's kind of the more important part here. Yep, we cleared it out because we went for the speed. Now for the big test. Let's see how this goes here. Hmm. Not horrible. Ooh, double CC, but we did get rid of the important one. We almost have the dragon already dead. Wow. Wow, this is uh, kind of surprising. We're going to need some good healing here. Yeah, no healing right there. I think sticking with Balance Strike with this hero is definitely the pick. Ooh, that was a really good first round. We actually killed one of the warriors. <gasps> we almost killed the other warrior too. Oh, this is definitely a victory, right? There's no way we choke on this one. <laughs> oh my god, we got it done. No way. Sea Land 22 is done? What? <laughs> oh my god, tenants, guys. Tenants are important. And now back to this cluster. Oh, this is going to be a bad one. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to be the hardest wave. I can't believe we got a Sea Land 22 done. That is uh, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive to say the least. Can't really buy anything just yet. Uh, yeah, next is working on the Forces, which we might be able to do next time. Might be very close. So we got the Onkiri Maru built up. We need to make sure we lock him down. Good. Again, we could give him an awaken copy, just give him some more bonuses, work on more gear. We might invest our gems into more class suits of gear, like, you know, warrior suit. Might be worthwhile. We'll have to see. But hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Yeah, we got that on Kirimaru there. But yeah, that was that was very successful. I am happy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because I had a blast. And I'll see you guys next time.